I didn't go to Morrison's on Tuesday before my Tuesday evening clean uh, because I am going away soonish. I don't really need to have anything else in the fridge to use up. Uh, so I'm just kind of whittling things down. Uh, this morning though, Thursday morning, I've been to the post office to put the money in from Wednesday's cash clean and I did have a look at what was at the cafe because they had their table out the front and I did get three peppers, nice big peppers for 50p uh, because I can use those up for what I need to do for the rest of the week. Um, I've still got four or five days of eating left so that's all worked out really well. Um, I had an email from, or a text from the boss who I do the cleaning for at the business, one of the two businesses, and he should go and work at the DWP. He keeps send, well he doesn't keep sending me, he has sent me a couple of jobs that he's seen advertised. So one was last year and he kept nagging me about this job and I wasn't going to apply for it. They were looking for bar staff in a pub down the road. Um, as an introvert and not a particularly people orientated person, I cannot imagine anything worse than working in a customer service, um, customer facing service industry. It's my, my idea of absolute hell. So obviously I didn't apply for that one. And then the other day he saw a job being advertised for a cleaner three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it's like as soon as you take a job as a gap filler, people think you want to do that for the rest of your life or something. I don't want any more cleaning work to be honest with you. If I did take another job it would need to be on either a Tuesday or a Wednesday when I already have other clean days because there are other things I want to do with my life. I don't want to suddenly find myself trapped in a cycle of cleaning jobs that I have to do. I like the ones I have. With going through the agency, if I say I'm away, I'm away. They'll just have to find somebody else to do the clean. So I've got uh, two weeks away coming up. I just tell all my clients, I'll say, look, I'm going to be away and they have to muddle along without me. If they need a cleaner, they can go to the agency and the agency will uh, find them someone temporarily to fill in. So that's not a problem. But I don't want to be working for a company where I have to be there every time and negotiating time off is difficult. And particularly if it's not through like self-employed agency, they're going to dictate to me when I can take time off because if I'm on, on their, their payroll, leave is going to be done in a different way. When I'm self-employed, I can just say, look, I'm not going to be here, and they just don't pay me. That's fine. They don't have to worry about that. But um, it's a bit different when you're working for somebody else and you're on their payroll, the statutory holidays that sort of thing and you've got to negotiate everything I can't be done with that I will be away for eight weeks of the year and there will be other times when I want to be away and there are other jobs that I do that might mean that I need to be away so if I do any of the the medical trials that might mean I'm away for a week or I need to rejuggle things so I need to watch for that because I do not want to get to the stuck into the cycle of not being able to take the time off when I want to. That's why I do what I do. It's the freedom that I get. And if I start getting backed into a corner by jobs that expect me to be around, and particularly jobs that I'm just doing for the money and have no interest in, that's going to be a problem. On the way back from yesterday's um, claim, I got these. These were a freebie from Checkout Smart. I think they were one pound thirty something um, but I got them for free so that will add to my meal arrangements for the next few days um, I can just chop these up and stick them in a stir fry or something so that all helps as well
Today I feel rubbish. This morning, the first thing I did when I woke up was I managed to stub my toe <laughs> on a table leg. And I've split the nail right the way down the middle. And it hurts, surprise, surprise. And I'm feeling run down anyway. I think post all that pain I had with my mouth and now that I'm just really keen to get away because I'm getting closer to going away and I feel run down, I'm tired. I want to get away from this town. I'm fed up with looking at this blooming miserable town that I live in. I want a change of scenery. I feel unhealthy, tired. I went out for a, a good walk this morning over to the local cemetery. I did a good hour or so out there, but I don't feel like I've achieved anything. I've started packing, getting myself organised. I just feel really lethargic. And then this afternoon I realised that I look a lot greyer than I thought I did. And so now I've decided to dye my hair because I don't fancy being grey on my milestone birthday next week. I'm just not in the mood for it. I'll regret it if I don't. So here I am, just going to top up the roots. The rest of it's okay, it's just the top that needs doing. I'm just going to stick my head under the shower. I can't even be able to have a proper shower. Oh man. I hate the going away thing. I hate the pre-going away thing. So the few days before and I start packing and organising stuff and getting straightened out. And it's that horrible, horrible limbo where you're almost ready to go, but you're not ready to go. And it's just frustrating because I just want to get on with it now. I want to be somewhere else. So, let's deal with this first. So at the very least we can look a little bit more spruced up, even if we don't feel it.
I have been getting a lot more tired earlier in the evenings. So by about 10 o'clock, I'm ready for bed. I don't know why this is happening, um, but my sleep patterns have started to change over the last few months. I think I'm sleeping longer and not waking up as much during the night. Waking up two or three times a night was pretty standard for me for a long, long time. And I seem to be only waking up once as a consequence of which I'm getting more sleep and I'm waking up earlier and I am now starting to wake up at half past six in the morning, which I am not a morning person. So it does take me a while to wake up from that. And I do feel pretty dreadful when I first wake up, but I tend to find that by about seven, 7.30, I'm ready to get up. And my alarm isn't set to go off until 8.15. So that's how long I used to sleep. So it's now Saturday morning. I have to do two cleans today because tomorrow is my packing day before I go away. Um, my alarm has just gone off if I was getting up. I've already done all my morning admin. Um, I've had my coffee. I'm very much awake. And now I'm going to go over to the supermarket because I've got a £15 market research survey to do. There's something I need to buy in Morrison's uh, and then I'm going to go over and do my double clean and that means I'll be home around lunchtime because I'm going in earlier than I had planned, which was going to be 10 o'clock. So I'm in this cycle now of tired early in the evening, going to bed earlier, sleeping better, waking up even earlier. I don't mind that. I'm quite happy to be getting up earlier and making the most of the day. But it does mean that my sleep patterns have changed very weirdly. So half six waking up is very strange. Although I will lay there for quite a while coming round. So yeah, 7, 7.30 is really when I actually get up. But that is 7.30 is still almost an hour earlier than I normally would, you know, uh, be getting up. So I'm gaining like an hour on my day. So that's got to be good. Uh, so right, so I'm going to go and get dressed now. I'm going to go out, uh, do that market research survey. It shouldn't take me too long. It should earn me 15 quid for about 10 minutes work. Buy the thing that I need while I'm in there. And then I'm going to walk back over the road and do my double clean and get that out of the way. Because then I am done for two weeks. No more cleans because I am going away. Yee! Just back from cleaning, etc. Um... Morrison's are giving away something free every day for Easter. Look what I got today. Cadbury's cream egg. 75p. These used to be a lot cheaper than that. But when they're free, what more could you possibly want? That makes a Saturday, doesn't it? It's finally here. The last day before going away. It's Sunday. It's quiet. I've got all day to myself because I did my cleans yesterday um, and I'm just getting on with getting my home sorted so that I can go away and that means that when I come back everything's okay. So we have to water all the plants. Uh, we're going to get the bed all nice and stripped and changed and ready so that it's new when I get back. Uh, we're going to hoover right through, we're going to clean the kitchen and do the bathroom and bleach and mop the floors and it's like having a little spring clean every three months where I go right through everything so that when I come back everything is ready to go, I don't have to do anything because they're long days, going away and coming back is a long day, it's a whole day so it's like five and a half hours, six hours on the road and then there's the unpacking and all that sort of thing. So I like to have a nice streamlined order to everything. A couple of years ago and going back further than that, um, when I used to go away, I would take a certain amount of the stuff that I sold on my store as it was then just Etsy. And I would pack it into the back of the cart and take it with me and keep my shops open and keep working and keep selling. But it's just not worth it at the moment. Things have really slowed down the last couple of years with all the cost of living crisis, etc, etc. And it's just not worth the extra effort of packing that all up and getting it sorted versus the amount of money I make. So I've just put all my shops, I've, I've 
put my Vinted on vacation, I've put both my Etsy shops on vacation, and my Shopify has a banner on it that says, here's when I'm going to be away. Um, you know, I'll sort stuff when I get back. And there's all the contact information so people can find out what's going on. So then, uh, because most of my paying work now isn't of that side of my life anymore, it's not the business. The stuff that pays now is the stuff that I can take with me. So the surveys, the market research, doing the YouTube, all that sort of stuff, that is where I can uh, take my work with me and just keep on working because I don't really take holidays anymore. It's uh, I, I, I work, but I just work in a different environment and that's fine with me. I work on a low level anyway. I don't do a really hard nine to five job. I'm not constantly a beck and call of bosses. Uh, my own work schedule is my own, so I just pick it up and move it and take it with me and just fit it in around um, family stuff and whatever when I, when I go away. So it's not like a proper holiday where I completely shut off. It's basically the same but in a different environment. And that's fine for me. That works for me because I don't work that hard anymore. So, yeah, so today is just getting organised getting things tidied up, or I can work at leisure, you know, there's no rush. At the end of the day, once I've done dinner, I'll go right through and sort the kitchen out, so that's nice and clean, um, because all I'll have to do in the morning is some breakfast, and that will be low level. Uh, bathroom will be all nice and clean and done. Floors I will mop through during the day, so I can get the windows open. Um, the washing that I need done is done, and there will be some washing in the basket for when I get back. But it'll be stuff like the bedding, and I have multiple sets of bedding, so I'm not in any rush to get that done. So that's kind of my routine, really. So uh, time to get started. It's uh, about quarter to nine in the morning. Once again, I woke up at 6.30. I was up by 7.30. Let's just get on with it. Let's just make the most of the day. I made one last quick trip to Morrison's this afternoon because it was something I wanted. Couldn't find it, but loads and loads of broccoli. Worth 79p, down to 55p. Haven't seen broccoli in ages on discount. I bought six of these because I have room in my freezer. So I'm going to blanch them. And then I'm going to put them in the freezer for when I get back. Because then that's one less vegetable I have to try and buy in the uh, yellow sticker shelves. So, yeah, just chop them up. Chop the whole lot up. Stick it in boiling water for five minutes. Plunge it into a cold water bath, let it cool down, when it's cool, drain it, bag it, stick it in the freezer, and it's just as good. Works really, really well. So that's uh, one last little thing that I managed to get in before I left on, on Monday, so I did that on the Sunday. I had the time, because I was just staying at home getting stuff done, and I had a feeling this might happen, because it's... It's guaranteeing it, as soon as you go away, you get the thing that you've been waiting weeks for. Never mind, got it now anyway. Here I am, Monday morning. I'm in the car. I have packed. I made my lists. I checked my lists. I rechecked my lists. Packed. Cleaned. Checked everything. Um, checked again. Rechecked again. Checked the electrics at least three times because I'm one of those people that just has to keep on checking stuff. And now I'm just going through in the car at that point of leaving and checking everything again because that's what you do. Oh my goodness. Just sorting a few things. I'm ready. I'm pleased it's here. Yay! <laughs> I've got a, a nice list of podcasts on a playlist ready to go. So that I can be entertained en route. Got my maps ready to go. That's it. It's 
time to leave. Uh, <laughs> see you at the other end. Bye bye.